At 11 now, how dark is it outside your home right now? Residents say when they go out after dark, it is pitch black and they fear for their lives. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez live in Woodhaven, Queens now with more on that. Hazel? We're on Myrtle Avenue, one of the busiest and best lit streets in Forest Park. But now look what happens when we turn off our camera lights. You can see how dark it really is. And locals say when they come out here for their morning run, the poorly timed street lights leave them blind. At night, runners and walkers enjoy well-lit roads and greenway paths in Woodhaven, Queens Forest Park. But a step in this same busy park during peak morning hours is a step into dangerous darkness, as resident Ed Wendell captured with his video camera around 6 a.m. Wendell's footsteps can be heard, but he can't be seen until he's a foot away and turns on his flashlight. When people are coming out to walk their dogs, when people are coming out to start their day, all of a sudden we were in pitch blackness. Pitch black, park goers say, because of poorly timed city street lights that go out before sunrise. You cannot see anything. Bonnie Harper and her running partner have been calling 311, the Parks Department, and other city agencies to complain about the park's lighting problem for more than four years, but nothing has changed. It's light when we've entered the park and you're in, you know, running for just a couple of minutes and then all of a sudden it's just black. So the fear factor has been exacerbated by the recent um, spat of rapes and attacks in the park. It's been ongoing for over a year. There have been two rapes in Forest Park this year alone. The city's Department of Transportation says they're working with the Parks Department, but quote, DOT continues to inspect the lighting in Forest Park and has found it to be in working order during seasonally appropriate hours. Locals strongly disagree. And you would think this would be a simple thing to address. Simply turn the lights on. There should be a greater sense of urgency to get this problem fixed. It should have been fixed years ago. The DOT says they are still trying to address the community's requests for lighting in this park and they are in discussions with the Parks Department and other city agencies. We are live in Woodhaven, Queens tonight. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. All right, Hazel, thank you. The